Hey everyone, today we're talking about the statement, on the third day he rose again. I'll be reading from 1 Corinthians 15, the big chapter on the resurrection. If Christ has not been raised, your faith is worthless and you are still in your sins. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. How hard is it for Christians to change worship times? You've ever been a part of those sort of discussions, right? It's one of those things that we take really seriously. Can you imagine even changing the day of worship? That right there, the fact that Christians, Jewish believers in the Messiah, started changing and worshiping on, on Sunday should tell you how big of a deal this is. Uh, it's the day of the resurrection. That's why we call it the Lord's Day. That's why we meet to worship on the first day of the week. So we cannot underestimate how important the resurrection is to our faith and what it means for us. And yet, in a lot of ways, many Christians do. We emphasize only Jesus' death. We emphasize just the cross and what happened there. And the resurrection kind of becomes an afterthought. It, it, you just listen to what people say very often in, in Lord's Supper talks, how much we talk about Jesus' blood being necessary for our salvation. And then that's really all that you need, right? If, if it's just about satisfying God's wrath, well, you just need blood for that. You don't really need uh, Jesus to be raised from the dead. Instead, though, Christians say that the resurrection is central to it because a lot of people died. A lot of people were crucified. Only one of them got better. You see here in 1 Corinthians how sin and death are only defeated by Christ overcoming the grave. These sin and death are these twin enemies that can't ever be separated as much as we often do. And so that's why we celebrate the resurrection. That's why it has to be central to the story of Christ's work. Yes, he died on the cross, and he also rose again. And it's true for him, so that means it's true for us. We, we can, if we focus only on his death, then it is just about him and what he did and what Christ did through him. And the resurrection is not just uh, God saying, hey, thanks for doing that, Jesus. Let me pay you back by bringing you back. No, it's, it's saying that if Christ rose from the dead, then that gives all of us hope. It overcomes the condition that came from Adam. As Paul says, all die, so all will be made alive. It's the scope of the resurrection is, is even bigger than we think sometimes, too. But as far as what the resurrection means for us, I think it's also about the idea of trust. Because when Jesus went to the cross, he did so in faith, not in certainty. And that's what we live in, too. When Jesus calls us to take up our cross, we can also trust that God is going to raise us up. So, it's something we have to do every day. Today, what is that cross you have to take up? But can you take it up trusting that there's a resurrection waiting for you, too?